I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. I'm going to start this video with a disclaimer, so I don't get lynched in the comments. Yes, the way these smokes work is certainly unintended, and it's fair to call it a glitch. But it is allowed in Pro League, and in my opinion, that makes it fair game. On the screen, you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you guys the best spots to use this mechanic. I'm going to try explaining how and why it works, and then we're kind of applying this concept to a different area, one that isn't already standard in Pro League. The first spot, and also the most famous one, is the one you've been seeing this whole time. You have a reinforcement in mini, and a smoke playing in it, and as soon as you hear the default plant in the doorway, you throw the smoke into the corner of the room. And here, and also for all the other spots, it's important that the smoke lands on the floor and not on the wall or the reinforcement. If it lands on a reinforcement, it doesn't work, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. Anyways, if you are defending armory and you're not using this mechanic, you are seriously decreasing your win rate. It's pretty much essential on this bombsite. That is also very much true for defending Billiard on coastline. Default plant is right here behind the bomb, and you're going to stop it by throwing a smoke on the floor in cocktail. And as an added benefit, you also damage everyone who is standing too close to the wall in aqua. Gym on Clubhouse is not exactly famous for being a site where you plant very often, but if people are planting, they're doing it right here, next to the sink, because it protects them from construction, and we are denying this by smoking through the bathroom wall. Last spot that is common in Pro League is on Consulate, denying a projector plant in this corner. Again, you just smoke it through the wall, either by playing inside connector or by playing in bathroom. Now for some more rapid fire plant denial spots that are still good, but more situational than the ones you've seen before. On Cafe, you can deny a plant in a wall between bar and piano. On Villa, you can smoke default library plant from gallery. On Bank, you can smoke default server plant from gold. And on Coastline, you can smoke a master plant from 90, a grades plant from kitchen, a brick plant from Kex. a kitchen window plant from beer, and a sunrise plant from outside sunrise. Now, I'm sure there are a lot more plant denial spots, but these are the obviously strong ones. But if you think about this mechanic only in terms of denying plants, then you're kind of thinking in only one dimension. You can just as well use it for area denial, for example. When you're playing in Janisher on Bank, you can throw a smoke at the floor here, and that denies the hallway that connects square and janitor. On cafe, you can deny a whitehall push by smoking the back of freezer. And on clubhouse, you can smoke the corner of church here, which gets some serious chip damage on the attackers in moto. And then you can maybe combine it with peeking from church, because you now know that the attackers have to be standing in the open in moto. As you can see, there are a lot of possibilities to make some creative plays here. So now for why this works. As you can tell, it has to do with how we're placing the smoke. Let's take another look at the coastline billiard example and try a few different smokes. Here is the standard one again for comparison. As you can see, it damages attackers in billiard standing back as far as here, and it damages attackers in aqua standing as far back as here. Now let's throw a different smoke and see which areas it damages. This one extends basically the same amount towards Billiard, but it doesn't reach Aqua at all. And this one doesn't extend as far into Billiard, but it does extend into Aqua. The logical conclusion is that smokes seem to bloom in a dome shape, but the direction of the dome depends on the orientation of the smoke grenade. So a smoke at the back wall blooms towards Hookah, and therefore you're safe in Aqua, and a smoke at the side wall blooms towards courtyard, so you're safe in billiard. And if you just throw the smoke on the ground, it blooms towards the sky, so you hit every position. Not sure if that is really the way it works, but it's the only hypothesis that I wasn't able to disprove. And there's also another piece of evidence that supports this conclusion. If we throw a smoke on the top of this server, we'd expect the dome to extend through the floor, and the area below the server to be safe. And that's exactly what happens. 
no damage below the smoke, and if we take a look above, we can clearly see how the smoke clips through the floor. And this last part could have pretty huge implications, right? Because you don't need the server to clip a smoke through the ceiling. If we just throw a smoke at the top of a wall like this, the dome should extend like this. Which means that we should be able to smoke certain spots from below. And visually, that's exactly what happens. See the sudden increase in particles right as we enter the base of the dome? Well, the problem is, this is only visual. It actually deals no damage to attackers. Unless they go prone, where for some reason they do get damage. I don't know, I don't really get it myself. But yeah, kind of a bummer that it's not actually possible to smoke through ceilings. Especially because I spent quite some time finding those spots, only to then realize that it actually doesn't deal any damage. Well, unlucky. But I did promise to show you an application of this mechanic that isn't really used in Pro League, and I intend to follow up on that. These kinds of smokes are always the most powerful when attackers are forced to sit in one spot, for example when they're planting. But there is another common situation where an attacker is more or less locked in place. It's thermite while he's putting on the charge. So what you can do is listen for the sound cue, smoke the wall, and then you're guaranteed to keep the wall closed for another 10 seconds. And you're also dealing at least 30 damage to thermite. And if for some reason he isn't using advanced gadget deployment, he's just stuck in the animation waiting for the inevitable. Seems kind of simple, but it has some pretty huge implications for Pro League. Because it actually makes K-tricking viable. Let's take a look at the CC wall on Clubhouse. At the moment, the meta is for defenders to try and ban it or K-trick, while the attackers are using Thatcher, Sophia and Thermite to breach the wall. The reason why a K-trick doesn't work is because A, the Electro Claw often takes too long to deploy, and B, because attackers are often EMPing twice to destroy the Electro Claw while it is deploying. But by clipping smokes through the wall, we can work around both of those. This is a setup. Smoke and Kate are waiting behind the wall. One K charge is already deployed. The attackers are now going to EMP the wall, and then they have a 4 second window to open it with thermite. But Kate and Smoke can hear the EMP. So Kate takes his Electro Claw off, and Smoke throws his smoke on the floor, which means that Thermite isn't able to use the window that the EMP opened. Once the smoke is about to fade, Kate throws his Electro Claw back on, and you repeat the process until there are no more EMPs left. At which point the attackers just aren't able to get the wall open anymore. Pretty cool, right? But at the same time, also pretty stupid. It goes without saying that this shouldn't be in the game, and Ubisoft has repeatedly said that they were going to fix it, but I guess I never got around to it. And that probably has something to do with the fact that this mechanic is barely used outside of Pro League. But that just makes it all the more valuable for you to know about it. Alright, that's it for the video. I hope you learned something new, and thanks for watching.